It's the thirst, thirstiest time of the year. Hey. Welcome back to Rating Every Single Rainbow Magic Fairy, Part 26. Today we have the Friendship Fairies, or their attempt to make the main six from My Little Pony, but there's only four of them. Starting off, we've got Esther the Kindness Fairy. That's a big-ass job for one little fairy, making sure everyone is kind. I don't think she's doing a great job. Step up your game, Esther. Also, I don't know how many times I have to say this, but outfit not giving me the theme of the fairy beats here. Mary the Sharing Fairy? She looks like she would bully me in middle school because my mom didn't let me shop at Justice. I don't like her and her weird hair seat here. Mimi the Laughter Fairy? Like, yeah, she's cute. Her overall dress is a little bit long for my taste. Um, nothing is saying laughter here. You're definitely not a match for Pinkie Pie Babes. B tier. Claire the Caring Fairy? Don't know how different that is from kindness, and I'm not sure I'm caring about this design. <laughs> Actually, no, she's pretty cute. I just wanted to make a joke. Um... B tier, she's fine. Welcome back to Rating Every Single Room of Magic Fairy, part 27. Today we have the baby farm animal fairies because there weren't enough animal fairies already. First we have Debbie the Duckling Fairy, and this is unfair because I love ducks and she is wearing a green shirt, but I also like her flannel and her boots. So A tier is not undeserved here. Elodie the Lamb Fairy, I don't know what's going on with her weird furry vest. I wish she was wearing like a wool sweater. That would be cute. B tier. Penelope the full fairy. This is unfair. I love her. Her bandana matches her Doc Martens. She's got this whole like farm wife aesthetic going on. I want to rate to own a farm with her. I'm not gonna give her S tier because her design isn't indicative of her theme enough, but A tier definitely. Billy the baby goat fairy. I mean she's cute, but that little Jumper is going to get really dirty playing with goats. Be here. Welcome back to Rating Every Single Room of Magic Fairy, Part 28. Today we have the Candyland Fairies, which we're super excited for because we all know how much I loved the Sweet Fairies. First up, Monica the Marshmallow Fairy. Already making me angry, Monica. Nothing about this design says marshmallow at all. I guess her shirt kind of looks like gross, like marshmallow all. I don't know. I don't even like marshmallows. And I don't like Monica. C tier. Okay, Gabby the Bubblegum Fairy, this one actually works. She's got the bubblegum hair, the bubblegum skirt, her shirt says pop. Like, this is cute. This makes sense. It's not over the top, but it's this candy. Good. A tier. Good for Gabby. Franny the Jelly Bean Fairy, nope. Nothing is jelly bean here. Absolutely nothing. Franny, I hate you. C tier. Shelly the Sugar Fairy, at least she's cute. I mean, I don't know how they would have made her be sugar without it looking like she's a coke addict. So she's fine. B tier. Welcome back to rating every single Roma Magic Fairy part 29. Today we have the fun fair fairies. Ray the roller coaster fairy. This is the most boring person I have ever seen in my entire life. She has the personality of wet bread. N I hate her. D tier. Fatima the face painting fairy at least has a nice outfit, but her face is barely painted. Like, that's so small. Like, infinitesimally tiny. I was expecting, like, a full, like, they, like, do, like, your whole cheek. It, this is so disappointing. B tier. No, not B tier. C tier, Fatima. Paloma the Dodgems fairy. This is just, this is Zoella. This is just freaking Zoella. C tier. No, none of these have the proper theming, and I hate them. Bobby the Bouncy Castle Fairy, I hate, I hate you. Nothing, no bouncy castle at all, no energy, C tier, gross. Welcome back to rating every single Rainbow Magic Fairy, part 30. Definitely did not think the series would go this long when I decided to start it. Um, also, I wanted to ask you guys, would you be interested in seeing me do a stream where I talk about Rainbow Magic Fairies? I could read one of the books, we can talk together. I think it'd be fun, let me know in the comments. So today we have the Endangered Animal Fairies because there weren't enough animal fairies already. First is Etta the Elephant Fairy. This is just, this is just like a middle school English teacher. Nothing says elephant in this design, C tier. Priya the polar bear fairy, ignoring the fact that there was already an ice bear fairy. Um, Priya's pretty cute. She's dressed adequately for the cold. B tier, I think she should put the polar bear down, but still pretty good. Chelsea the chimpanzee fairy, just looks like she's wearing nurse's scrubs. And I don't know where her shoes are leopard print, but she's the chimpanzee fairy, C tier. Selma the Snow Leopard Fairy is going to freeze her tits off dealing with snow leopards. She's not dressed adequately at all. I don't like her D tier. 
Welcome back to Raiding Every Single Room of Magic Fairy, part 31. Today we have the Discovery Fairies. Starting off with Aisha, the astronaut fairy. She is very cute. I like that they didn't just give her an astronaut suit, but they also just didn't give her normal human clothes. Like, she's got like an astronaut suit style dress and like the puffy boots and the helmet. She would survive- okay, she probably wouldn't survive in space, but she's still very cute. A tier. Orla the Inventor Fairy, also very cute. She looks like Wanda from Magic School Bus, and I love Magic School Bus. I get that they, they just gave her a lab coat, but it's still really good. B tier. Annie the Detective Fairy, I want her to be my wife, and we can solve mysteries together as a wife duo. I love her. S tier. Elsie the Engineer Fairy, the fact that they have a fairy in a wheelchair is so excellent. Give me that representation. Also, cute pantsuit, A tier. These were all really good. Welcome back to rating Every Single Roomba Magic Fairy, part 32. Today we have the after school, after school activity, let me, wait, one second. After school sports fairies, I looked it up. First we have Terry the trampolining fairy, who comes home from school and is like, okay, I have to go to trampolining practice. But aside from that, she just looks like the gymnastics fairy and the acrobatics fairy, B tier, boring. Bonnie the bike riding fairy is actually very cute. I, she looks like a member of the babysitter's club and I love the babysitter's club, but I'm not really getting that much bike energy. B tier. Rita the roller skating fairy. So I gave the original skating fairy an S tier because I wanted to date her. So Rita's got a little bit of competition here. I do like that her shirt matches the skates. This is a really nice outfit and I love skates. A tier. Callie the Climbing Fairy does look like she's about to go rock climbing. She's cute. I like her. A tier. Welcome back to Rating Every Single Room of Magic Fairy, part 35. Today we have the Festival Fairies. Dina the Diwali Fairy is, I think, the prettiest woman I've ever seen in my entire life. And I love her. S tier. Hana the Hanukkah Fairy, also the prettiest woman I've ever seen in my entire life. This is unfair. I love her. S tier again. I saw a video from a Muslim creator about Alicia the Eid fairy and how like they people actually wear like really nice Eid outfits and I don't, they don't know why she's wearing jeans and a shirt. She's still really cute though. I like her, but I wish she was wearing something like the Diwali fairy was. I mean, not like the same obviously because like the cultures are different, but like a nice outfit in that vein. A tier. Be the Buddha Day Fairy, also so cute. These are just, these are all very good. These are all just great. A tier for B. <laughs> A tier for B. Welcome back to rating Every Single Rumble Magic Fairy, part 34. Today we have the Gold Medal Games Fairies, which is actually the last series before we move on to special editions and one-offs. So I think you guys are really excited because I've gotten so many requests for the special editions. Starting with Lane the Surfing Fairy. She's very cute. She does, however, look like the main character of Teen Beach Movie. <laughs> um, also, I wish there was a little more flair to this, like not just a wetsuit. More could be done here. B tier. Riley the Skateboarding Fairy. <laughs> Tony Hawk who? I love her. Excellent design. A little too similar to Zoe the Skating Fairy. Gonna give her A tier. Now we have Soraya the Skiing Fairy. I'm actually terrible at skiing, so I'm gonna be a little biased against her because it makes my butt hurt just looking at her. B tier. She's all right. Jada the Snowboarding Fairy is very cute. I've never tried snowboarding. I probably also suck at it, but I like her a lot. A tier. And tomorrow you guys can finally stop asking for the special editions. <laughs> Welcome back to Rating Every Single Room of Magic Fairy, part 35. Today we have our first collection of special edition fairies. Starting with Holly the Christmas Fairy. I mean, this is a good, effective design. I like it. She's cute. A tier. Joy the Summer Vacation Fairy. Also pretty cute. I mean... I don't have any really strong feelings, but she's fine. B tier. Stella the Star Fairy has got it going on. She is a star. And the audience loves her. A tier. Kylie the Carnival Fairy has got a lot happening with her. Um, She's pretty good. It's a little bit much for me, honestly, though. B tier. I really like Flora the Dress Up Fairy. She's very cute. I like her hair matches the whole outfit is matching she's dressed as a mermaid for this costume party like her a tier welcome back to rating every single rumble magic fairy part 36 today we're continuing our way through the super edition first we have Paige the christmas play fairy i don't know 
how big of a genre Christmas plays are that we need a whole fairy for them, but she's pretty cute, A tier. Chrissy the Wish Fairy looks extremely Christmas themed, but I don't know if wishes are really related to Christmas. I guess she could have been like a genie. I don't, I just don't feel strongly about her C tier. Shannon the Ocean Fairy, I think is very well themed with her seaweed shirt and coral skirt. She just looks good, A tier. Gabriella the Snow Kingdom Fairy. Which is a snow kingdom and why do we need fairies for them? She's fine, I guess, B tier. Mia the Bridesmaid Fairy looks like a bridesmaid, B tier. Welcome back to rating Every Single Room of Magic Fairy, part 37. Today we are continuing our way through the special editions. First is Trixie the Halloween Fairy, an absolute icon, an S tier. I can hear the spooky scary skeletons remix playing when I look at her, love her. Next is Destiny the Pop Star Fairy. I mean, she's fine. I don't know why her wings are like see-through. It makes me think she's melting. B tier. Juliet the Valentine Fairy is actually very cute. I like that they didn't go overboard with the heart motif, but they still like, you still get it. I like her, A tier. Belle the Birthday Fairy looks like Blair from Gossip Girl. It's not really a bad thing, but it is a thing. B tier. Cheryl the Christmas Tree Fairy, her outfit is very similar to Holly the Christmas Fairy and Chrissy the Wish Fairy. I wish they could go for something a little bit more original. B tier. Welcome back to rating Every Single Room of Magic Fairy Part 38. Today we're continuing our way through the special edition fairies. First we have Florence the Friendship Fairy. She's just wearing clothes. She's got a big old belt. Good for her, I guess. B tier. Emma the Easter Fairy, very cute. I like her color scheme. She's got the pastels going on and she's got these little rain boots. Very cute, A tier. I love Kara the Camp Fairy. She has perfectly captured the 2000s Sleepaway Camp vibes. Excellent, good job, Kara, A tier. Selena the Sleepover Fairy, there's a lot going on in this design and I'm not mad about it. She's got the slippers, she's got the socks, she's got the pajamas, she's got the cardigan, she's got the sleep mask, she's got the teddy bear. She is ready for this sleepover and she is going to get sleep. A tier. Natalie the Christmas Stocking Fairy. There's so many Christmas fairies, it makes me want to cry. I like her dress though, B tier. Welcome back to rating Every Single Room of Magic Fairy Part 38, I think. Could be wrong. We're continuing our way through special edition fairies. First we have Kiera, the film star fairy. I really hope she's named after Kiera Knightley because I'm in love with Kiera Knightley. She looks pretty, kind of generic, but you know, that's fine. A tier. Olympia, the games fairy. Haha, <laughs> funny, it's, it's like the Olympics. She's fine. She looks good. I like her hair. She looks like she's going to go run. B tier. Angelica, the angel fairy, confuses me on a lot of levels. Do angels exist in this universe? Or is this like, just like the idea of angels? She's the fairy of that. Good design, I guess, but very confusing. B tier. Tamara the Tooth Fairy, it took them long enough to do a tooth fairy. Her outfit makes absolutely no sense. C tier, what are these colors? Bailey the Babysitter Fairy, does look like a member of the Babysitter's Club, B tier. Welcome back to part 40 of me being trapped in the abyss of raining rainbow magic fairies. <laughs> Today we're still on special editions. First is Lindsay the Luck Fairy, who's basically the St. Patrick's Day Fairy, according to my research. I like green. We've got some green here. She looks Irish. She's fine. B tier. The green isn't, isn't carrying it to the A or S tier. It's B. Solid B. Nikki the Holiday Camp Fairy is just their equivalent of Kara the Camp Fairy in the UK. She's fine, she's cute, B tier. Carly the School Friend Fairy, very specific, but I like this aesthetic. Gives me um, Britney Spears in the music video that's name I can't remember, A tier. Hit me baby one more time, that's it. Robin the Christmas Party Fairy, so many Christmas fairies, she's fine, B tier. Autumn the Falling Leaves Fairy, I do love the fall aesthetic. A tier. She's good. Welcome back to rating Every Single Rainbow Magic Fairy Part 41. Today we are still on Special Edition Fairies. First we have Addison the April Fool's Day Fairy, who does not have April Fool's Day energy in the slightest. Like, there's not 
the vaguest sense of amusement about this outfit, C tier. Lila and Milo, the twins fairies, are cute. However, twins that dress exactly the same are terrifying, and I will stand by that. B tier. Tilly, the teacher fairy. I'm in school to be a teacher, so I'm probably pretty biased, but I like her. She looks like she'd be very nice. She looks like she'd have like a safe space, gay, the gay flag in her room. A tier. Giselle, the Christmas ballet fairy. Moving it on Paige's territory here. Boring. C tier. I don't care about her. Heidi the Vet Fairy is cute, like pretty generic, but you know, she's good. I like her. B tier. Cute dog. Welcome back to rating Every Single Rainbow Magic Fairy Part 42. Today we have more special edition fairies. First we have Daisy the Festival Fairy. She's extremely cute. I love her Wellingtons, her Windbreaker, and her little flower crown. It's hard to see, but it's there. Very cute. Don't know what like festival she's at, but I like her. A tier. Chelsea the Congratulations Fairy. Apparently she's like the fairy of graduation. I researched it. But it's like, why not just call her the Graduation Fairy? Why call her the Congratulations Fairy? Also, I don't, her face is weird. C tier. Catherine the Fashion Princess Fairy. This is so egregiously just Kate Middleton that I, who know nothing about the royal family, looked at this and immediately said, well, that's Kate Middleton. B tier. Alyssa the Snow Queen Fairy. What is her job? To just help little girls listen to Frozen? I don't understand her. B tier. Because she's kind of pretty. Becky the best friend fairy. Look like she'd bully me. C tier. Welcome back to rating Every Single Room of Magic Fairy Part 43. Today we have more special edition fairies. First is Blossom the flower girl fairy. She's very cute. She's got the little flower crown. She's got the flower accessories. She looks like she's going to a wedding. Good, Good job, Blossom. A tier. Would invite you to my wedding. Melissa the sports fairy. I guess she's like the boss of all the other fairies who control sports. She's, I don't know what sport she's going to play. She looks kind of boring. B tier. Skylar the fireworks fairy. I mean, she's got like red, white, and blue going on. And like July the 4th is kind of the holiday that we have fireworks. I don't know what they do for bonfire night in the UK if red, white, and blue are their colors. I mean, she's okay. B tier. Elsa the mistletoe fairy. I don't care about her. Why does she need to exist? C tier. I don't like her. Susie the sister fairy. As an only child, don't see the hype. B tier. Welcome back to rating every single rainbow magic fairy part 44. Today we have more special edition fairies. We have Carmen the cheerleading fairy. I'm not getting really any strong energy, positive or negative from her. Her pom-pom looks really weirdly solid which is just a thing, uh, B tier. Sand the Butterfly Fairy, aw, she's cute. I like her, I like her little headband, her butterfly dress, I like her, A tier. I wanna go on a little garden picnic with her. Samira the Superhero Fairy, she looks like gay pride Wonder Woman, and I kind of love it, A tier. Michelle the Winter Wonderland Fairy, is so adorable. I want to go on a little snow walk with her and like drink hot cocoa and wrap presents. I love her. A tier. Maria the Mother's Day Fairy it looks like she'd work at the Botanical Garden where I always take my mom for Mother's Day. Strong design. A tier. Welcome back to rating Every Single Rainbow Magic Fairy Part 45. Today we have more special edition fairies. First is Ellen the Explorer Fairy. I love her. I want to go on a hike with her, look at the sunset, visit the Grand Canyon, take a little mule ride. Love her. A tier. Care of the Coding Fairy. This is nice, getting little girls into STEM fields, encouraging them. She's fine. B tier. As much as I want to hate Evelyn the Myrmicorn Fairy, because a Myrmicorn is the worst thing I've ever heard of in my life, she's still very cute, so she gets a B tier. I have never hated anyone more than I hate Sasha the Slime Fairy. She's my life nemesis, and I despise her entirely. F tier. I hate you, Sasha. Ivy the Worry Fairy. She looks cute. She looks cuddly. She looks sweet. Fine. B tier. Welcome back to rating every single room of Magic Fairy, part 46. Still special edition fairies. Camilla, the Christmas present fairy, because there weren't enough Christmas fairies already. 
She's got a little tiny little package, and she looks like she's going to an office Christmas party. She's fine. B tier. Padma the Pirate Fairy. Now, as a bisexual, you can't show me a pirate and expect me not to fall in love. That said, I wish they'd gone a little harder on the design. Like, from here up, it's great, but I don't know what's going on with the pants situation. A tier still for Padma. I want to take a little ride on her boat. That was not an innuendo. I really want to go on a boat. <laughs> Greta the Earth Fairy? I mean, I love Greta Thunberg. Good for her. Save the Earth. And by that I mean take down the 75 mega corporations that are single-handedly causing climate change. S tier. Did I say that? S tier for Greta. Brianna the Bee Fairy? I mean, she's just a visco girl, but I love that for her. A tier. Welcome back to rating every single Rainbow Magic Fairy, part 47. Today we have the last of the special edition fairies. First is Connie the Christmas Cracker Fairy, because we will never escape from the Christmas fairies. She just looks like every other Christmas fairy. I don't care about her C tier. Then we have Jude the Librarian Fairy. I love a good library. I love a good librarian. They're wonderful people. She's very cute. I wish they'd committed like a little more to the aesthetic. I think they're trying to go for light academia here, but they didn't quite get it. B tier. Cat the Jungle. I don't know if this is racist, but it feels racist. The vibes are bad with this one. D tier for Cat. Paula the Pumpkin Fairy is the love of my life. I want to go trick-or-treating with her. I want to carve jack-o'-lanterns with her. I love her. S tier. Please marry me, Paula. Welcome back to rating Every Single Rainbow Magic Fairy, part 48. <laughs> Today we're doing all the one-off fairies inspired by the royal family. Yay, imperialism. Mm. First is Kate the Royal Wedding Fairy, and as a Kate, it makes me so sad that my fairy in this series is just Kate Middleton. So I really don't like her, C tier. There should be a better Kate for me. Elizabeth the Jubilee Fairy, ugly, don't like it. No Union Jack, bad, C tier. Then we have Alexandra the Royal Baby Fairy, Georgie the Royal Prince Fairy, and Charlotte the Baby Princess Fairy, none of which I care about, B tier, why does every member of the royal family need their own fairy? Francis the Royal Family Fairy, just Kate Middleton again, why does the royal family need so many fairies? C tier. But we love and respect Meghan Markle, so she's an S tier. You guys, today is a momentous occasion because we have reached the final part of rating every single Rainbow Magic Fairy. Hannah the Happy Ever After Fairy, very cute. I can feel the older energy with this design. I really like the old designs, A tier. Luna the Loom Band Fairy, disgraces the name of Luna, which belongs to Luna Lovegood. I hate her, I hate Loom Bands. She's going to join her friend Sasha the Slime Fairy in the F tier. Tiana the Toy Fairy is literally just a little girl who has a toy YouTube channel and I hate that, D tier. Zainab the Squishy Toy Fairy. Okay, I do like Squishmallows. This is Inez. Meet Inez. So Zainab gets a B tier. Jay the Boy Band Fairy, the one and only male fairy. King shit. Go off. A tier, Jay. Jacinda the Peace Fairy. That's a big job for a little fairy. She's very cute, though. B tier. Go get world peace, Jacinda. Miriam the Nurse Fairy is cute, too. I trust her. B tier. meticulous fan wikis and in my quest to figure out how many rainbow magic fairies there actually are spoiler alert there were way more than i thought i uncovered this article <laughs> how old are rachel and kirsty so it's trying to solve how old the two main characters of the children's book series rainbow magic fairies are and you'd think it'd be pretty easy right because 
one of the girls literally turns nine in one of the books. So like clearly they're like nine and then they age, right? But then there have been 14 books set during Christmas. <laughs> be 21 because each in each one Christmas happens. So there've been like 13 different Christmases. <laughs> and that doesn't make sense. And so then I found this comment. They compare them to Ash Ketchum from Pokemon and that they don't age, but they also say they have a theory that the two rulers of Fairyland are deliberately using magic to prevent them from aging so they can keep helping them with their problems. And if that's not the funniest thing I've read all day, I don't know what is.